Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Seduk here in Antwerp with another brand new brew review for you guys. Now, <coughs> today we're talking about a seasonal beer by a brewery that we've had several times before. Uh, we will be tasting the Anostique Cuvée d'Hiver or literally translated the Winter Blend by Brasserie du Pays Flamand. About 150 episodes ago, we've had the Anostique IPA for the first time, followed by the Saison a few weeks later, and almost immediately after that, we also tried their Blonde. So it's about time that we revisit this brewery, and what better to do so uh, in this period than the Cuvée Hiver, the winter blend. So this is a top fermented American Amber Ale, according to the brewers, with an ABV of 8%, and it's supposed to be very fruity and warming. I have red taste notes that mention a wide variety of flavors ranging from vanilla and cinnamon over caramel to grapefruit and papaya. Uh, and I even read pine resin and a slight acidity. So yeah, call me curious. <coughs> Just like the other bottles, uh, this has a very nice design. Uh, some hop flowers in there, of course. The lion with the stirring stick is always present. Brasserie du Pays Flamand, Merville, France. Anostique Cuvée d'Hiver, Bière Artisanale Haute Fermentation, 8%. What else can we see here? Absolutely nothing. So. Lovely glass as well. <coughs> Let's have a taste. Now I am very curious uh, after reading those taste notes and after them calling this an American uh, Amber Ale. So yeah, that would classify as Amber in my book. <laughs> Ooh. We do have some sediment. I probably should have been more careful in the beginning. Yeah, that is very lively. Slide that for pheasants. Beautiful color. This is like a beautiful orangey copper blonde, a very nice color that an amber beer should be. And I did pour in more yeast than I intended to. Uh, whoops, but we'll see what that gives. Also some nice yellow, yellow beige uh, foam, um, medium to large bubbles. This is gonna dissipate rather quickly, uh, but nonetheless, a nice color and nice foam. When looking at this color and this foam, this slightly reminds me of the La Trappe Quadruple, um, but let's see what else this gives us. Oh, very interesting uh, scent profile. Um, quite roasty, it's no surprise. But also a slight acidity, a bit vinous. Uh, I do get that pine resin. Not so much the fruity part or the caramel, uh, which <coughs> is okay for me, because I do like the resin and the acidity more. And as predicted already, no more foam. A very pleasant smell. Okay, let's have a taste. Cheers. Now, the smell and taste sort of go hand in hand, but um, the main difference is in the nuance. Um, first off, Initial flavor, um, roasty and bitter. It is actually a bit quadruple-ish or quadruple-esque. Uh, 
it is quite nice it is quite roasty so we do have some roasted malts in there uh, a tiny bit of coffee even so some really dark malts um but a nice bitterness quite dry um i don't get that caramel i do get a very 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 tiny uh, sweet edge uh, but I do understand the acidity and I checked the label uh, whether they used the uh, wheat for example, but they didn't it's pure barley so But yeah, very very nice Here again, it might be a bit fruitier but I don't get all those mango papaya flavors that people talk about um, I also don't really get that vanilla or the caramel uh, so weird um, I do get a bit of cinnamon I do get a bit of clove actually uh, so this is taking me more to glue wine for example than, than uh, licorice or anything Also a very pleasant aftertaste. Um, again, bitter, dry, slightly acidic, uh, slightly vinous, all things that I do like. Um, but I think I'm gonna skip ahead straight to the verdict. Why, um, well, this is a very, very well-brewed beer. And <coughs> they call it an American Amber Ale. Uh, and I have some trouble classifying this beer because what is an American Amber Ale um, but this reminds me of let's say well an amber indeed but mainly a special Belge uh, be it a bit heavier 8% special Belge is mostly around 6-ish let's say um, but I think this is a very nice take on a, on a special Belge recipe for example um, so in that way I, I do really like this um is it a good beer absolutely definitely but it's not necessarily something special or odd or so i'm not gonna drive up to france to get me a crate of these even though it's a very nice beer but this actually really reminds me of a strong version of a bolleke de koning uh so i'm gonna stick with my bolleke and i can have two or three instead of one or two of these um, but nonetheless, nice beer, very well brewed, uh, no remarks there. As usual, thank you guys for watching. I saw again some new subscribers, uh, Benvenuta Gabriele. Uh, if you want to see more, well, subscribe as well. Uh, hit the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I upload something, which should be every Saturday and Sunday around 7, if I get this uploaded in time today. Um, of course, I might add some extra videos in the coming months and, well, December is coming, so we might do another advent calendar as well. It's going to be a busy month for me. Uh, that all being said, thank you guys a lot and I will see you guys in the next one, which should be, uh, I want to say next weekend, but I do have some tiny surprise for you guys this week. So, cheers! <laughs>